Hi guys, Stein with Sound Lab Tech here. A quick one. Um, so, you ever ran into this problem? You're trying to go to a website, then um, you get this error message, um, something along the lines of SSL underscore error underscore bad underscore search underscore domain, basically telling you that it's, it, it cannot recognize the certificate you know that you are trying to connect to or that the connection is trying to utilize so basically um it's not resolving to the um right certificate or some every certificate that cannot be recognized so anyways you will get something that look along the lines of this okay okay it will tell you that you can click advanced and you still not be able to bypass you know sometimes some websites will tell you to move forward at your own risk but in this situation it kind of just doesn't let you and you get stuck okay so there are a few things you can do um i figured out the solution so i just wanted to run it across to you so first things first you're going to need to go into your settings okay and simply type cash or if you know how to get there just go to cash okay and when you go um, to your cache you want to want you want to make sure you clear your cache advisably you can clear your data if you feel like um, you don't need it just go ahead and remove it all okay by just clicking selecting removing all okay and then saving the changes okay save the changes then after that come to clear cache okay and go ahead and just make sure they both are checked and then just clear it this is more so for um, Firefox okay great so once you get that done Okay, I don't think an uninstall is necessary. Okay, but what you're gonna need to do is go to add or remove. Okay, programs, add or remove programs. Okay, and once you get there, okay, okay, so you are gonna get something like this. Okay, and what I want you to do is just go ahead and go f look for Firefox. Okay. And once you look for Firefox, when you're about to uninstall, you will see something that tells you to refresh, okay, the application. Okay, just make sure you click refresh the application and that will do the job for you, okay? So you don't necessarily need to uninstall. You can uninstall if you just want to do that. That works too, but you can simply just refresh it. I cannot refresh it because I've already done it. Okay, so I think that is a quick way of getting this done, um, and it will it will be it will be back working. It worked for me. I hope it works for you. All right, um, all the best to you guys. Um, have a good one.